Hey everybody, welcome. Today I want to do a quick training on the one thing that holds 90% of restaurant owners back in their business. And let's get a little drum roll going. That thing is actually you. Surprise, it is you that is holding yourself back. And, and you're probably thinking, oh damn, why did I start watching this? Man, it's just going to tell me that I'm the problem. But let me talk a little bit more about why that's the case. So most of us got into our restaurant business and in business in general because we wanted to work less and make more money, right? When I got into business, I was like, yeah, I'm going to make six figures, work 20 hours a week. Things are going to be great. Uh, I'm going to have time for all those hobbies that I, I wanted to do. But guess what? That's not exactly what happened. Most of us, when we get into business, actually work more and make less. So we got in to do less work and make more, but we're actually making less and working more. And, and, and that doesn't even make any sense, right? So one of the main reasons why that is the case is because when we get into business, we're usually good at one or two things. You know, maybe you were great um, as a server. And so you get into business, uh, the restaurant business, maybe you're great at cooking things and you love that part of it. So that's why you get into the restaurant business, but then all of a sudden you get in there and you're like, hold on a second. Not only am I just serving people or not only am I just making food, all of a sudden I'm also the VP of finances. I have to be the CEO. I have to be, um, you know, a frontline operations manager. I have to be the VP of operations. I have to be the person that does all the hiring in the HR department. And I have to be the one that's, um, you know, sometimes picking up supplies here and there and filling in shifts. And all of a sudden you realize that you have to do seven different jobs. Jobs. It's not just the one you thought you were going to do, but you got to do seven different jobs. And so when that happens, we are generally not super skilled at all of these other jobs that are crucial as a business owner. And because of that, the only thing we know how to do is to work more and do more ourselves. So let me walk you through that a little bit. So most of the time, what happens is we get in there and we probably hire some people and all of a sudden they start making mistakes. Maybe they stop showing up. Maybe they cost you some customers. Maybe they accidentally drop a bunch of things on the floor. Uh, maybe they wreck some equipment. Like all of these things happen. Maybe they quit without notice. There's all this stuff that happens and you get frustrated and you're like, you know what? Um, people suck. Uh, there's no good people anymore. Those millennials, those Gen Zs, they, they just, you know, they don't have the same work ethic that we did. They don't have common sense. And so we just start to do more and more ourselves. And so that becomes our answer right? We just keep on doing more and doing more and doing more. And so the actual reason why most restaurant owners stay where they are and aren't as successful as they could be is because what I like to call the operator mentality. It's where, hey, you know, my salary doesn't cost anything. So therefore I'm just going to do more work and that's how I'm going to make more money. But I will tell you a secret is that you can't make $100,000 a year working for $10 an hour working for $15 an hour. There's no way that you have enough hours in the day to be able to do that. So if you work more and more and more, replacing the labor that is 10 or $15 an hour, you're never going to get to the place where you wanna go. So let me ask you this. If you were going to uh, hire a housekeeper to clean your house because you're so busy working um, and they were, they were gonna do the same amount of work, the same quality and the same time frame. everything's gonna be the same, but one charged $25 an hour, one charged $30 an hour, which one do you pick? Obviously you pick the $25 an hour one because hey, why would I spend more for getting the same thing? So now in your business, if you can pay someone to do the same work that you are doing, why are you still doing it? You have to understand that your value in the business needs to be focused on higher level things. Because what I hear from most people is they say, oh, I'm so busy working in the business. I'm making food, I'm washing dishes, I'm serving customers, I'm, I'm doing all this stuff. And then I ask them, okay, so what aren't you doing in the business? They're like, well, I never have time to market. I never have time to uh, you know, work on my profitability. I have no idea what my food and my labor costs are. I don't even know if we're making money right now. I don't have time for any of that stuff. So what you're telling me is the things that you could be doing with your time that could bring you in thousands of dollars, like putting in a new marketing campaign, you know, even if it brought you two or three new customers for an hour of your work, that would be far more value than just replacing a little bit of 10 or $15 hour labor. So we have to understand that we need to do the higher value things. And if we are only doing the 
tasks that other people can do and not doing the things that are going to improve our business, no wonder our business doesn't improve. So let me show you an example of uh, what I like to call um, the little cliff. So over here, most operators, you know, say at one location or two locations, they spend most of their time mostly on the front line, doing operational tasks, doing frontline team management, filling in shifts, working with people saying, hey, you, you made that product wrong here. You know, let's do it this way. A little bit of hiring, a little bit of training and a tiny, tiny little bit of marketing, tiny, tiny little bit of finance. It's just the bare minimum that you can do, right? So this is what happens. And then I see everyone say, well, I'm not making enough money now. So I need to go to multiple locations to make more money, right? And then they try and run multiple locations the same way that they did this. And what happens is they fall off this cliff. And so this is what I normally see happen for people. No time for their family. They can't get ahead. Their turnover is high. They're always filling shifts. There's not enough money. You're doing everything yourself, constantly stressed, and you just can't find good people, right? And the reason that is, is because you're missing this bridge right here. You know, learning how to be a better leader, how to have those management skills, those hiring skills, having the systems in place in your business to do the heavy lifting for you so that you don't have to. You need to have good managers and supervisors. You have to become a better training uh, manager and have better coaching skills ultimately. So to get to this perspective where you have those multiple units, the promised land, like most of us want to get to a place where we have multi-unit freedom. Most of us end up in a multi-unit prison. And sometimes even with one location, you can be in that prison. That's what happened to me when I first opened my business. So when you get to this owner side instead of the operator, you spend most of your time working on management, coaching, accountability, recruiting and training managers, some admin work, and then more marketing, more finances, planning, and then a little tiny bit of front service, uh, frontline service and execution. So it's a total flip from the operator part. And what most people are missing is this right here. And because of that, they end up treading water, never getting ahead. And unfortunately, what I see after a time is that people end up selling their business because at the end of the day, uh, they just can't make it work anymore. So the number one holding, the number one thing that's holding you back is actually the operator mentality that you have, because it's the only way you know how to get things done successfully. And the unfortunate part is with that mentality, you will never be able to grow. So if you're interested in finding out more about how you can change that mentality and get to that multi-unit freedom place where you have enough money and you have enough time and you're not as stressed let me know. Let's talk because that is the exact path that my clients go through. And I'm happy to share that with you. All right. So hopefully uh, this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. 